Hey everybody, one more quick video here. This time we're just learning how to use the snipping tool. So this is how you're going to send me a quick screenshot of your work. Uh, so I would love everyone, if you do anything on Autodesk and it's you think it's worth sharing, which it probably is, because you know if you come up with something good, I wanna see it. Don't keep that to yourself. Uh, it's, this is how this is the easiest way to share it with me. What you're gonna use is called the snipping tool. So the easiest way to find it uh, sometimes it's stored over here. You can scroll through and find it. The easiest way to find it is just to search for it. And you just type in snip. There you go. And snipping tool pops right up. Now this works pretty easily. You can click new snip right here. And then you just click and drag around the piece that you want. Now, if you don't like that screenshot, let's say you go like this. Oops, don't, not, don't want that one. You can just click new and it's gone. You start over again. You wanna, uh, if you wanna do a full screen snip, you wanna snip the whole screen, you can do that. If you wanna do a free form snip and snip like that, right? You can grab that. Uh, but let's just do a new, let's just do a rectangular snip right here. Boom, there we go. Okay, so that's what we wanna take a picture of. I should mention this, uh, you know what, cancel. Before you, uh, before you, do your snip, you should get a good angle here. So go ahead and use your view cube to find that good angle, uh, whatever you like. You can also use keyboard shortcuts. If you use the scroll uh, button of the mouse, you can zoom in and out. You can see that happening, hopefully on both things. Oh, phone call coming in, take that later. Uh, <clears throat> you can also zoom in and out. If you click that button down, if you click that wheel down, you click it, and you drag, you can move it around. And if you click it, you hold shift and you move around, you can rotate, right? So that makes it pretty easy to use your keyboard shortcut. It's fun to use. I, lo I love using that shortcut right there to find the best angle. Let's see, that looks pretty good. Uh-huh. Uh, here we go. So let's do that. And then we wanna take a snip. So we'll just grab our snipping tool right there, do a new one, move this out the way. And here we go, take our snipping tool. All right, now you have your snip, you can save it if you want, but you don't really need to save it. I mean, it's just gonna clutter up the computer with a bunch of old screenshots that we don't really need. So what I usually like to do is just go to copy. So just go to edit, copy. And then if you go to your email, here we go, well, now I've opened this up so we can't see any emails, which is good. I'm gonna send an email to myself and the subject's going to be auto, auto desk sculpture. You can use whatever subject you want. Then you can just hit control V to paste that screenshot in there, or you can right click and go to paste, or you can go to edit and paste. I, actually, I don't know if edit's even on here. Anyways, uh, a variety of ways to paste that in here. You can right click, use your middle finger to, or click on the right button there. Just go to paste. And there it is. All right, then you just hit send and you're done. Um, okay, so I'm hoping that most people will send me some type of screenshot of their work. Just give me a sense of what you're working on. What are we doing with Autodesk? Where are we? What do we like? Um, anyways, okay, that's enough. I will see you later.